All right, so it is here, the new color printer, color copier. This color printer will take place, will replace, excuse me, will replace the two color printers, one that was in room 120 and the one that was in room 214. Uh, and we did this for a couple reasons. We Last year we took a look at usage and toner and how much toner costs. Um, for those of you who don't know, it was about $1,000 to replace the toner in one um, color printer. So we looked at cost effectiveness, and well, long story short, we're getting the color copier. Um, color copier, color printer. This is to be used only for color printing, color copying. Regular printing, regular copying, still use the regular uh, Ricos. Again, this is only for color copying, color printing. Um, and based on our projection, projections, this is for you roughly about 100 copies slash print jobs, 100 color pieces of paper coming through that machine per month per person. So if you think about it, it's a pretty fair amount. Um, all right, now on to it. How to install the printer. Same way you install most printers, we're going to install from the print server. So if you're on Windows 10, you should have a little bar down here. If not, if you're on Windows 7, if you click Start, you should have a little bar right here. But in that bar, you just type backslash, backslash, and those are, are forward slash. That looks like a forward slash. Above the Enter button, forward slash, forward slash, keen, K-E-E-N, no extra E, M-I-L-L-E-S, a keen mill E-S, P-S-V-M print server management or something like that and then hit enter and it might take a few seconds to come up and you should see it right here in the middle color copier you double click it and it installs it should install pretty quickly for you now in order to actually print to this machine this is the important part so please make sure you're paying attention um, so you're gonna find your printers again if you're Windows 10 you can just type printers down here if you're Windows 7, just hit start, type printer in the box down there, and it should bring you to your printers app. So I'm going to click printers and scanners. Find your color copier. Okay, click on this, and manage. If you are on Windows 7, you should be able to right click and come up with printing preferences. And on Windows 10, you click manage, and then you get printing preferences. Not properties, preferences. And you should be brought to this window. Okay. So in order to print, you have to come up here to Detailed Settings and Job Setup. I see my ID number is already in there, but I'm going to erase it. So Detailed Settings, Job Setup, and you have to input a user code. Your user code is your employee ID number. Tanya has already set it up to all to the machine. So I'm going to put mine in. I'm going to click Apply. And now I'm set. I can send print jobs to that printer, no problem. But while I'm also while I'm in here, I'm also going to default to lock print. Just so I don't have stuff streaming out of there. You know, whenever I get there, I can punch in my code, get my stuff. And again, most of you are familiar with lock print. But here's how to set it to default to lock print, as opposed to have to put on your every job. So you job type change it to lock print click details I tend to just use the beginning of my uh, username and then you pick a four digit code click OK and OK and so now I am defaulted to print to that printer locked print to that printer and that should be it let me I'm gonna do send a test job here just so when we get to the printer you can see it so this is something that we're using for the Steam Lab. So I'm going to print, and I'm just going to print page one. Change it to color printer, excuse me, color copier. I'm going to print page one. I'm going to click print. OK, off it went. You should see there it's printing. And we'll take a look at it when we get up to the machine. Okay, so as you come over to the copier, should look similar to the rest. See it's in sleep mode right here, you just give it a tap to wake it up. You should see the same, which you're used to, you should have the copier, scanner, printer. Scanner you can use it if you want, but um, 
scanner works for many of the machines, so this one's not um, particularly any different. Printer, so we'll go to there first. Now because I had my ID number on my computer, I can just go right into printer. I don't have to enter my code here. So I'm just gonna hit print jobs, be you a chance. Click on print. Actually, I'm gonna try that again. And I'm gonna click print. And da da it's gonna come here. So it's taking a second to warm up here. Okay, so I have my print job. Very nice. So I'm going to exit. I'm gonna click home to get out of printer. Now copier's gonna be a little bit different. When I go to copier, first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna ask me for my ID number. So again, in order to use the copy version of this, you gotta enter your ID number. So click here, I'm just gonna type in my ID number over here. Click OK. Now I'm in. Now you see it's going to default to black and white up here. And it is the color copy. If you want black and white copies, go do it, on, do it on a regular one. But I want color. Ooh. So do you see what would happen there? We have it set for a 10 second timeout. And the reason we have this on is so if you're done making your copies and somebody comes up behind you, we don't want them to make, you know, 150 copies on your number. So we've got it set to an automatic 10 second timeout. So if you're as long as you're in and things are going, it's fine, it won't time out on you. But um, when you don't do any action for 10 seconds, it'll time out on you. So I click OK, I got my thing in here. Remember, it defaults to black and white, so we're gonna choose auto color select. So you should see auto and full color. They're pretty much the same. I mean, you're gonna get pretty much the same quality. Auto color select, whoopsie. Auto color select is kind of better eco-wise. Full color is gonna give you a more rich DPI, blah, blah, blah. For our purposes, we're just gonna use um, auto color. And then again, it's your normal features here. Um, so I'm just gonna click start. I want one copy. And I'll show you what it comes out as. So again, this is what I printed. And this is my copy. So again, original copy and you should see it's been 10 seconds it just timed out on me um and that's pretty much it let me check make sure i didn't forget anything nope choose auto color and times out of 10 seconds enjoy